work of the reopening advisory board and specifically outlining the phases Massachusetts will follow as we move forward in reopening our economy. First, I'd like to share a quick update on testing and hospitalization. Yesterday, we processed almost 12,000 tests. That brings the total number of tests processed in the Commonwealth to 388,389. That continues to make us a national leader. Uh, and if we were a country, we'd actually be a global, a global leader on a per capita basis. There were 1,500, or excuse me, 1,050 new cases of COVID positive tests. That represents 9% of total tests conducted coming back positive for the virus. That's obviously a pretty big drop from where we were a month ago. We continue to have daily conversations with our partners in the healthcare community to monitor hospitalization rates and capacity. The number of cases currently hospitalized is down to 4%. The weekend's data represents downward trends across many of our key metrics, which is encouraging. Uh, but the one thing I would say is sometimes the weekends um, are a little misleading. Uh, we would probably need to see what happens uh, today and tomorrow just to be sure that everything that was supposed to come through on the weekend did. Massachusetts remains, I think as everybody knows, one of the hardest hit states by the COVID-19 pandemic in the country. And we still have work to do to contain the infection rate, reduce the number of people who need serious hospital care and make sure that our healthcare system uh, is prepared to operate in a COVID world uh, and, and do all the other things that it does on behalf of the people of Massachusetts. We're obviously continuing to monitor the daily informations and trends uh, over time to help us focus on next steps. The process is complicated, it's gradual, and it requires an incredible amount of patience from pretty much everybody, including me, um, but we believe we are trending in the right direction. As of yesterday, um, having never distributed a single piece of PPE ever during our first five years in its administration, we distributed our 10 millionth piece of PPE to hospitals, nursing homes, community health centers, cities and towns, and first responders across the Commonwealth. That includes, I think as everybody knows, gowns, gloves, masks, ventilators, and other gear and supplies. Since we launched the reopening advisory board on April 28th, the board's now met with stakeholders from 44 different industry associations and community co coalitions, representing more than 110,000 businesses and more than 2 million workers across Massachusetts. In the past week, they met with regional chambers of commerce, labor representatives and industry associations and consortiums representing construction, hospitals, dentistry, museums and cultural institutions, sports, arts and entertainment, cafeterias, casinos and gambling, cannabis, fitness, hair salons and personal care, and manufacturing, to name a few. <laughs> Yikes. These presentations have built upon the discussions the board's been having with representatives from retail, high-tech, life sciences, restaurants, travel and tourism and lodging, banking, construction and recreation, as well as the Black Economic Council, the Latino Chamber of Commerce, and the NAACP. Additionally, the reopening advisory board has received written comments from more than 2,200 employers and organizations. And we are obviously extremely grateful to the many participants that have taken the time to engage in these discussions and share their ideas with the commission, the board. Across our secretariats, working groups within the administration are also planning for next steps on testing and tracing, outdoor recreation, higher education, transportation, and childcare. Those conversations are crucial to the decision-making process and take into account the input and perspective of many of our local officials and other stakeholders across Massachusetts. The goal is to come up with plans to ensure that we reopen as safely as possible across the many different industries that make up the Massachusetts economy. The board's in the process of developing a full report that will be available on May 18th that will outline those plans, including the activities and industries that are safe to resume by phase, mandatory workplace safety standards about distancing, personal protection, and cleaning protocols that all workplaces will need to follow upon reopening, and sector-specific protocols for how different industries should operate when they reopen. Considering the highly contagious nature of COVID-19, our decisions and timing is influenced by the public health data 
that informs us with respect to spread of COVID-19 in our communities and across Massachusetts. Monitoring that public health data has been a key part of our reopening process and will help us determine what is the safest way to get our economy up and going again. 